Hello and welcome to this week's Sunday show and I, I um, thank you for listening to my videos. Um, this week I know that we have a, um, I feel that we have two people that are coming forward and um, Mother Mary and she's coming with St. John the Baptist um, and I feel that they're coming together and and so I feel like he's, he's escorted her here. Isn't that sweet? It's like it's... Um, it's, it's like she's he's he's been the gentleman and bringing her along. Oh, that's really sweet. <laughs> I really like that. Um, and she's she's just saying to me that um, she says everyone um, adores Saint John the Baptist because he does nothing but help everybody. He always wishes to help um, wh whoever anyone needs help. He always tries to help, and he's so helpful in the spirit world. Um, so that's really nice to hear. Anyway, she says that she has um, some important matters to discuss um, on, on this show this week. And one of the things that she wants to um, discuss is, is she's, and she's drawing my attention to, to, to Jesus. And she's saying that when, when she was um, in, in his upbringing, there were times when, uh, there was a time when he wanted to turn away from from speaking a, 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 about spiritual matters and and she and and it was when he was a young child um because from from the word go she always wanted to teach him and so she had she had some difficulty in trying to persuade him that actually she knew and she always knew that this was his destiny and he was meant to do this work and so she would she would work very hard with him, trying to coax him and and trying to create um, an understanding in his mind that God is all around him and with him. And um, because for a little while he was, um, I guess, like any other child, um, didn't want to do his lessons. And um, but she's saying to me that once he did embrace these lessons. He embraced, the, embraced them with fervor. He was he was completely committed, and he went from strength to strength in his understanding of of spiritual matters. And one of the things that he always um, maintained is that he felt that um, being outside in in sort of nature was his favorite place to be. He he, and he always felt that he was close, more closely connected to God. And and when he was do his his sermons or whether he would preach or whether he would pray he would always do that when he was when he was outside um because for, as i said earlier he felt that he was more connected to god um and one of the times when he was he was actually working outside um in his spiritual work and he's showing me a fish and he's just lifted this fish and he's showing me the basket and he's showing me the sea that's behind him and and he's saying to me that um he wanted to give um the fish to people um and help them um not be hungry and he, he would he, he's saying to me that um because uh, jesus has stepped forwards by the way <laughs> he's saying to me that he he would always um he would always help the fishermen with 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 catching their fish and he would always try and 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 steer them to a place where they could gain more fish or it would be more profitable for them in a in a different part of the water and soon he he gained this reputation of 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 sort of this understanding of of how to fish and where to go and which side to cast your net and things like that and and so people would always come up to him and say to him where do i go what what do i do and 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 what's what's it going to be like today and and so he would always guide guide the fishermen in in gaining the fish and and of course as a result the fishermen would always when when they listened to his words they would always come back with sort of the, and, he, and he's showing me sort of their boats just full of fish um and and a lot of these fish were small fish sort of you know that about that, that size um that they're showing to me it looks like sort of things like sardines 
um, they were, and, and that, that were there in abundance. And, and I feel that, and, and it's also showing me um, muscles as well, because I feel that there was a lot of muscles in the area and they would fish for that. And he's also showing me um, octopus um, that, that, that they would fish for, because he's just show, put, placed that into my, my clairvoyance. Um, so it's interesting, the sort of fish from, from the region where, where he was. And he's saying to me that um, his mother would always praise him for, for helping so many people because through those fishermen catching all that fish, it meant that they were not only able to come back and feed all their families, but they would, be, they would take their fish to other people who would want to buy the fish from them. And, they, and, and, and they're talking about a market that they would go to where they would sell the fish. And, and, and it, would make, it would make their town prosper greatly. And, and Jesus is saying to me that he was very happy to, to, to do this for, for um, everyone and, and indeed for his family. Because prior to him sort of being able to do this, the, the fishing was erratic. You know, sometimes they would catch, you know, a bountiful supply and then other times there was nothing. And, and they, they, he's saying to me that the weather would also affect uh, where the fish was and, and whether they could catch the fish. Um, but this sort of way of him working um, really changed the way the people um, lived in, in, in his town. Um, and he talks about how in the Bible that they, they, he, they, it, he says it talks about how he helped Peter when he was fishing, but it wasn't just Peter. He helped all of them. And he's bringing up the name of Andrew because I feel that Andrew was um, also helped in this matter because I feel that he would go fishing too. Um, and he's, he's talking about uh, his father um, and um, his earth father, um, Joseph. And, and he's, he's talking about him. And he would um, sometimes struggle with his work and sometimes not have enough work to do and, and struggle, struggle financially. And what he found is by, by helping the fishermen and helping his family that were fishing as well, he was able to bring sort of more prosperous times to, to his community. But what his main purpose was, and I think that this is quite incredible, his main purpose always, he says, was to bring God to everybody, to, to help people understand that there was a God or there is a God and the God is around us and through us and everywhere with us. And, and he's, he's saying to me that some people didn't recognize that or understand that there was a God. Some people weren't, in, in fact, that re religious, but then others were greatly religious. And although he was brought up as a Jew um, in, in the Jewish faith, he says that um, his, his understanding of spirit was slightly different and he would preach in a slightly different way and he would feel that some of the, the, the traditions and the ways of doing things that the Jewish community would do, he would actually um, change them and make them in a different sort of, sort of style um, because he felt that he, he needed to do things in a different way. Um, what he's saying to me is that God was always with him and God was always advising him in sort of what to do and how to do things and how to promote um, the world uh, of, of heaven and spirit to, to the masses. And he says that when he remembers these times, he remembers them greatly with fondness. You know, it was peaceful and how people were happy and there was no sort of troubles at that time. It wasn't until he was later, a little bit older, that he found that he had some difficulties in his life and, and was seen to be a threat to the Roman and the Jewish community. And in some level, he feels that he was, um, he should have perhaps gone in more gently and not so feverishly um, because I, he feels that that is what upset people. But 
in a way, he says he couldn't help himself because God was always with him and always promoting him. And he knew that he had a mission. He knew that he had a job to do. And he just had to do this. He had to, he had to be with the people and he had to be um, preaching to the people. And as I'm, as I'm sort of talking to Jesus, St. John the Baptist is now stepping forward and, and he's talking about his role with Jesus and, and, and he's thanking Mother Mary as she's standing here too, thanking her for, for always complimenting his ways and, and being supportive of him as, as a cousin to Jesus. And he's saying that he remembers the times when, when Jesus started to become popular and people started to follow him. And he remember, he says, I remember it very well um, because we knew that we had the true holy man arrive on our shore. And we knew that this holy man was what was a man for all mankind. And this was the words that were given to all of us from God. And we knew that there was only one person to follow and that is Jesus, the Christ, the Saviour that has been sent to us from God. And as I, um, and and so so I know that uh, so so Saint John the Baptist is is saying to us, thank you for listening to my words. And Jesus is smiling, standing there smiling and sort of like nodding his head and and saying that you know he's remembering that there were in fact very some very good times. Um, he says. Sometimes when he's in the spirit world, he gets caught up with the negative times of his life. But he's enjoying talking about these positive times because it helps him to remember that it wasn't all bad. And, and Mother Mary is smiling too. And she's just saying um, she loves her son greatly and she loves him for all what he's achieved and what he's done for, for the world. And, and a, she says that when you think of how many people follow Jesus Christ and his te teachings and his preachings today it's just remarkable and, it, and she wants to thank the world for listening to our words thank you very much for listening don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell on, on down below um, and, and see you next week thank you very much for listening bye bye <laughs>